And you can either let it destroy your life or you can build upon it. You can permit it to let you let it hold you down or you can decide I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. You all fall down in life. The question is who gets back up? Forgive and grow. You're about to separate yourself from the pack and you're about to be on top. If you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. It's not your circumstances or your situation that determines if you're going to be successful or not. I've been telling you it's your mindset. It's the way you see it. It's the way you think it. Your mind is the battleground. Pick somebody and tell them the enemy is after your mind. Out to worry you to death. Out to stress you to death. Out to break you down. Out to make you quit. Out to make you think that you can't get up. Out to make you give up on your dream. The warfare is in your mind. It's not in your checkbook. It's not in your savings account. It's not on your job. The fight that you got to fight is in your mind. And if you whip it in your head, you can whip it in your checkbook. You can whip it on your job. You can whip it out of your children. But you gotta cry it out of your head. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. Standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You're standing up for your dream. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. Let it go and begin to focus on developing myself. And I say to you, you're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. And move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? When you, when, you, when you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many sit-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You don't count the cost on this one. You don't count how many breaths you take. You don't count it. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Don't stop. Stay busy. Work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Once you make a decision and you go all in and you say, I ain't quitting till I get there. I ain't giving up. I ain't giving in. I'll do whatever it takes to be successful. And when you make that decision, you, when you look you in the mirror, when you tell yourself that, look, I'm through, I'm, I'll do whatever it takes, I get it. That's the debt begins to happen. Forget about your past. Forget what happened back in the day. Make the rest of your life the best of your life.